It is yet another independence anniversary celebration. As we all know, we are celebrating 60. 60 years of our great country. Nigeria is great. Let us all agree. This is our own Jerusalem. It's my great pleasure and privilege to celebrate with the good people of Ondo State. In particular, and with all Nigerians in general, on this special occasion of our emancipation from our colonial masters. This year's anniversary is a big one, really big, because we are celebrating our Diamond Jubilee. Today is a perfect opportunity for gratitude, and we all have to show gratitude to Almighty God. If we need to thank God, we must thank Him for everything. Or at least, let us, let us thank Him for our achievement as a people. This country has produced great men. We have achieved as a people. And we must thank God for the evil which God has kept us from over the years, over 60 years. We have gone on what we call a civil war. We have survived it. And so many other vicissitudes of life. But God has seen us through. Let us continue to thank God for this. I ask us to thank God. Thank the Almighty God for this. May the name of God be praised. May God's name be praised. In spite of this, I still believe that this anniversary calls for solemn reflection. We need now to have an introspection. It is a day Nigeria realized one of the most cherished of human desires. And all of us know freedom. Freedom. We are all free. That is worth celebrating in addition to our achievement. Let us therefore give thanks to Almighty God. And also remember let us remember our founding fathers who labored so hard and sacrificed so much to build and bequeath to us this wonderful country. It is our duty to consolidate on what we are giving. We have a country, all of us know, we all now have a duty to consolidate on it. Some of them have gone, most of them have gone if not all, all that were here when we started in 1960, they have all gone. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us remain grateful to God. Let us also be grateful to the people of Ondo State, that is, those of us who are here in the executive, for the opportunity to be part of this 60 years history of this country by virtue of the fact that we have been saddled with responsibility to administer the state for over three and a half years. We thank God for this opportunity. <laughs> we have always said this, non mainly on, since we have been on this campaign trail, for, for some time now. So, some of our languages have not left us. We have only said this. That, just like the lizard that fell from the Roko tree, he looked left, nobody said anything. He looked right, nobody said anything. And he, looked, he went and said, I congratulate myself, I congratulate myself. I, I also congratulate myself. 
I feel gratified that we have used these three and a half years to promote the welfare of our people. We have done this with every fiber in us. We have, we have been running a people-centered administration in all sectors, ranging from education, from industrial development, health, youth employment and empowerment, infrastructural development, agriculture, social and women development. People who say that our 60th anniversary is not worth celebrating are probably not Christians. I am a Christian, and I know that the word of our Lord teaches us to celebrate. Even a day of birth, which is Nigeria's birthday, that is the anniversary. So we must celebrate. All we have celebration is not all about eating or drinking. I remember when we got independent. I was in primary school. Not many of we are in primary school then. I remember then that we were all given minerals, bones, and akara. And we held Nigerian flag as little children as we are. We are four. We're all Nigerian flag, all of us. It was a worthy celebration. We should continue to celebrate every year and pray that everything will be good. Nigeria is on its path to greatness. So why? Want to celebrate. I don't agree with those who say it's not worth celebrating. We need to celebrate. And uh, let me tell you, I, I, it might not be applicable, but because we make seriousness out of our seriousness in Power Drinkers Club, we say celebrate yourself, celebrate your success, and your failure if you fail. So everything is worth celebrating. There is hope. There is hope in this country. Let's, we are celebrating Nigeria, not to lose it now. So there's hope in this country. There's also hope in those state. But the important thing is that look at the path we are following. Look at the leadership that the President Buhari has suffered this country. How many presidents, I give a glaring example, has lost a state and has welcomed the governor that won against his party. That is a sign of leadership. And this is the part this country should grow. Democratic principles have been properly established. A lot of, a lot of fiscal policies have been taken. The problem really with most of us is that we want to hit the homeland. I would not believe that the egg was broken. You cannot eat homeland without breaking the egg. Sacrifices have to be made by all of us. But I know that the, the trajectory of the country now is to greatness. And all of us should be prepared to move with this country to greatness.